All right, check this out. What you're looking at here is roofing granules. There's a big pile of them, actually. I'm going to try and get this video in just real quick within a couple minutes. So, I'm in a shed that keeps various things like hip and ridge uh, accessories, just random shingles for repair work. It's not one specific brand, but there's been various GAF, ICO, TAMCO, Certainty, Owen Corning, all in this shed. The one similarity between them all is it's an oxidized asphalt shingle. What is oxidized asphalt shingle? It's a centuries old, very dirty manufacturing process where they high heat, well, let me back up. Why does it need to be that way? If you just smeared a tar shingle together and you put it on your roof in the hot sun in the summer, it's gonna run right off of it. So they have to condition it and make this process. Look it up, it's highly pollutive, just dirty. They heat it really hot, they throw a flux in and oxygen and treat it and it becomes an oxidized asphalt. So it brings up the temperature of what it can withstand before it just runs off your roof. Centuries old, dirty process. There are other brands on the market that have a SBS polymer modified line. Typically, they're higher end shingles. They sell you all the cheap oxidized asphalt and get you into a high level polymer modified. Malarkey, on the other hand, what I switched to has their entry, their mid grade, and high end and above all polymer modified. They started this back in 1986 when they went to a polymer modified shingle, SBS polymer modified. The difference is it's a much cleaner process of manufacturing and it's rubber-like characteristics. They recycle, upcycle, whatever you want to call it, on an average size home equivalent to about two rubber tires, 350 milk jugs into the manufacturing process that give it a rubber-like characteristic. So an oxidized asphalt, when a hailstone hits it and it smacks it, it's kind of like thermal shock from the cold rain and everything hitting in a hot summer day, then the hail hits it, they come off. Manufacturers say, uh-uh, no, it's voided the warranty because you have hail damage. Then the sun gets down into the asphalt and it tears it up. It degrades the asphalt. That's why you want your granules stuck up there on your roof to keep the sun and the elements from the asphalt. You don't want this in your gutters or in your lawn because the uh, copper oxide can put a hurt on your uh, landscaping as well. So... If you yourself or you know somebody looking at getting a roof, really investigate and look into an SBS polymer modified before you make the decision of what shingle to get. Now again, many brands have this, but they're, they're higher end. Malarkey has it at their entry and up. On that note, what you want to look up is a UL2218. That's an underwriting laboratories test that they do, an independent company, underwriting laboratory is a big company, they do a lot of testing. They test various hail size simulated strikes onto your shingle, and if it carries a Class 3 or Class 4 hail rating, most insurance companies will give you a discount on your premium, which could save over the long run. In just a very few short years, you could save the difference in the cost of material. So look it up. Again, that was UL2218. It is a SBS polymer modified shingle and malarkey. Yeah, growing up I was like, that's a bunch of malarkey. Malarkey is the name of the family. It was an Irish family that designed the shingle, which they went all polymer modified back in 1986. They're, they're pioneering the way in it. They have very other, uh, a lot of other good features like a tapered shim, a defined nail strike zone, a inch and a quarter uh, common bond. A lot of good features with it. Look it up. Check it out. It's going to hold up a lot better when you have hailstorm. Uh, you don't get all these granule hitchhikers coming off. I mean, you're paying for a product that carries a specific advertised weight. But when you open the bundle and you carry, well, you carry the bundle up on your roof and you open it up and you get a bunch of granules. Not only is it slick and dangerous for the guys installing the roof because you're walking something a little pitchy and you, you slide off it. It's like little ball bearings under you. You're paying for it to protect your shingle and look good. Why do you want it coming off if you're paying that kind of money? Come on, manufacturers, I'm not naming the name here, but let's figure it out. Get with times, go to Palmer Modified. Anyway, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, share this. If you know somebody looking at getting a roof, really look up that class rating, UL2218, and why you want to invest in a Palmer Modified shingle, SBS Palmer Modified. Don't ask me exactly what it stands for. It's like, uh, I'm not even going to try. Just Google it. It'll tell you all about it. Um, have a good one. Like, share, subscribe. Appreciate it.